So we haven't been out in a while to the Carlson sisters. Yes, I know. Well, you've been so busy with a certain mister. Well, you know how that is. Laura, what's that on your arm? It's, it's nothing. I fell over. It doesn't something. look like nothing. Are you okay? Everything's fine. Now stop worrying. We need to get going. Oh, uh, thanks. Long day at work? Lana Carlson. Um, Detective Stone. Uh, John Stone. So what brings you around here? A guy can't have a drink in a bar after work? You've been sitting here for the past 15 minutes with your hands on your head without any drink. So you've been watching me? Well, what can I do if somebody gets my attention? Can I have two shots, please? Oh, so we're doing shots now? Yes. To drinking alone in a bar at 3 a.m. To drinking in a bar at 3 a.m. So, Detective Stone, tell me, is there any Mrs. Stone? No, no, there's a... There's no Mrs. Stone. So, uh, you have no one to go home to? Nope. Just me, myself, Oh, well, you know, I hate going home to an empty apartment. So tell me more about being a detective. Well, I've been a detective for about eight years now. Honestly, I'm thinking of retiring. Oh, why would you say that? Well, sometimes the cases, that they just don't turn out like you would expect them to. Oh, so people do not get the justice they deserve. As a detective, that makes me feel useless. a nice photo. That's my sister. How sweet. How old is she? Well, she was 18 when she died. Actually, she was killed. We used to live together when I came back from Romania and her parents passed away. She was in her room with her boyfriend when I heard screaming and shouting and loud thuds. I ran upstairs to find her on the floor covered in bruises, blood running down her mouth and the sad excuse of a man she called her boyfriend standing over there. I ran over to her and tried to wake her up, but she wouldn't move. I looked up and the coward was gone. Look, you say you want justice. What kind of justice are you talking about? Well, you know what they say, an eye for an eye. He took my sister's life, so, uh... Okay. Okay. I'll help you. Why would you even want to help me? Do you know what I'm talking in here? I want him dead. Killed! What about your job, huh? I live my life every day by some bullshit code of honor that leaves no real justice for anyone, no victim. Just once, just once, I'd like to help someone get real justice. Fine, then let's go tonight. Tonight? Yes. But I need to find him and we need to figure out how we do this. But please find him faster, please, because I cannot wait any longer. All right, all right. I'll go home, I will search, and I will come back the moment I find anything, I promise. Thank you. That was quick. 
Please tell me you found him. He goes by the name of Chris White. He works at a grocery stop about 15 minutes away. Can we go now? We need to plan this Trust out. me, I've been planning this for the past three years. I know exactly what I want to do. Did you bring a gun? Logan, are you sure you want to do this? Do I fucking look unsure to you? Is he coming? He'll be here. He better be. Shh, there he is. All right, I'll go keep watch. Remember me? Fuck. This is for Laura.